Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This video is sure to be controversial, and I, I, I know that many of you have different opinions, especially when it comes to software choices for your Windows PC. That being said, we're, we're sticking our neck out, and we're, we're going to make some bold claims with what we believe are the best Windows downloads for any new computer. Just looking for the in, invisible guillotine to strike me down, and, and hopefully you won't disagree with our choices, and if you do, that's okay. Because there's a lot of software out there, and, and, and you can have more than one piece of software installed. FYI. In fact, some of the software that we listed on LockerGnome I didn't fully agree with. But I still think it's interesting to know about. So I pulled up the article here on LockerGnome.com, Best Windows Downloads for Any New Computer. Well, specifically a Windows computer or a PC. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plus one that, tweet it, and like it for Facebook. And hopefully you will as well. Uh, the number one productivity software that many people, including the registered Nomis that we asked, uh, they, they recommended Notepad++ uh, as, as a Notepad clone. Personally, back in the day, I used to love Metapad. It, it's free. should still be free. I also happen to love PSPad as a, a, not just a, a Notepad clone, but like a, an Uber text editor for the Windows platform. One of the, the most disappointing things I have to say about uh, you know the, the, the state of uh, the world of software is that when you like a piece of software on one platform, sometimes it's difficult to find the same type of software on alternative platforms. But Notepad++, highly recommended by more than just the author of the article, Creighton Miller. WinSCP, now I mentioned this in the video we did on setting up an FTP server and things that you may wanna watch out for if you even wanted to set one up in the first place or why you'd even want to. Uh, WinSCP was, I mean, throughout the time that I uh, was only on Windows, because now I'm kind of living cross-platform, WinSCP is the number one, in my, in my estimation, the number one FTP, SFTP client ever. Period. End of story. You can download it right now, and it is free. Um, love it. It's clean. It's fast. It's efficient. Uh, it, 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 it was always my go-to uh, FTP client, or has always been my FTP client uh, choice of Windows. FileZilla is not bad, but... WinSCP is far more elegant, far more powerful, and faster. That's according to me using it. That's how it felt. It felt faster. Putty uh, is uh, the best SSH or Telnet client that you might use. Uh, again, for Windows, there's Sumatra PDF. This is underneath the productivity listing here on the blog article in LibreOffice, formerly known as OpenOffice. Uh, I haven't used OpenOffice or LibreOffice as uh, you know, frequently as I would have thought I would have. I, I tend to use more web-based software for that kind of productivity uh, or needing uh, you know, those kind of applications. If it's based on the web, I'm more uh, uh, prone to using something. Now, as far as the internet suite of software, even though I would put WinSCP in this category as well as Putty, Google Chrome, Firefox, I mean, these things are, are kind of givens. Uh, Pigeon, Skype. Uh, I, I used uh, e, uh, another one called Miranda IM instead of Pigeon. If you're looking for an open source uh, multi IM client, uh, this is my. I, I used Miranda because I thought it was far more configurable and prettier than Pigeon. In fact, I believe Miranda is based in, in, in no small part on Pigeon's code. Uh, hey, the benefits of open source. In terms of utilities, uh, you know, we, we have, you know, I would say, the things that you would expect to see anywhere. Uh, like Team Viewer, 7-Zip, Dropbox, but VirtualBox is another recommendation if you want to uh, get into virtual machines on your desktop. If you want to run an installation of Linux right there within Windows, VirtualBox is e probably the best way to go, and it's not going to cost you anything. Uh, VLC is the number one media player if you're wanting to download media on well on Windows or really any platform that VLC happens to be on. Uh, it's really for media playback, period. Uh, it's, uh, I would say, in many ways, trumps the default Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player is trying to be almost like everything to you. And you just want to play the media. If you just want to play the media, go with VLC. In terms of managing photos, I've been recommending Picasa uh, since it was shareware for Windows. And Google acquired Picasa and then ported it to Linux. They also ported it to Mac OS X. But I still recommend Picasa for managing photos. Uh, it's, it's, it, I, nothing has even come close and they've only made Picasa better over time. Uh, 
Uh, we also recommended paint.net uh, for Windows if you want to do any image uh, or creation. I wouldn't consider it a great photo editing tool necessarily, uh, but in terms of a painting application, paint.net is the one to beat. Uh, for security, we list a couple of other options, but let me see here. I'm going to flip back to the Nomi's channel in just a second to see what their recommendations are, but let's see what all the YouTubers say. Uh, open via tall. I don't know what that is. Open via tall box. Virtual box? I think it was, maybe that's a typo. Linux? I think he meant Linux. Maybe this is a bad idea to turn to you here. Uh, the KM player, actually. Chris? Okay, cool. KM. Let's see here. Let me hit. Sometimes YouTube freezes for a second, and then I have to hit refresh. And then as soon as I do, it'll say something's remarked as spam if I do. KM player. I got it. I got it. My antivirus on the computer. I have Microsoft Security Essentials. That was recommended in the article, just so you know. Uh, Night Night. We actually mentioned nightnight.com a long time ago, Paulcroft77. It is a great website uh, to get software for Windows right off, uh, right off the bat. Yo, dog, Chris, Acta, how does that work? We covered that last week, dude. Sorry. Uh, well, no, I'm not sorry. Actually, I'm happy. Go check it out. Uh, Yee, that's not even a piece of software. No, that's not so much for turning to YouTube for your comments there. Great. <clears throat> Now, even though the Creighton mentioned iTunes in the article in terms of like essential Windows software, I'm going to disagree with him. Yes, that's right. I disagreed with someone on LockerGnome.com, even though LockerGnome.com is, you know, pretty much led by me as a as a as a website for content distribution. Uh, I, I hate iTunes. I would not consider that an essential piece of Windows software unless unless you have some kind of iOS device. It'd be the only way I could possibly accept that as essential software, the best software. Uh, iTunes just doesn't do it for me. So uh, what do you consider the best or most essential software for Windows? Like software you have to have installed on every Windows install that you have. What would it be? Here's your chance. Please make it better than the suggestion of ye, which wasn't even a suggestion. I mean, it's not even a word. Well, it was a word, but like in the Middle Ages, like ye old Firefox or something. But it didn't even go that far. It just stopped at ye, like we're supposed to guess. Yank, Y-E-N-C, which is something that's used in conjunction with decoding Y-N coded pro things on news groups, Usenet. Go on. Make the recommendation. Check out the article. 